What is up, YouTube? Silver Dragons here, and in this video, we're talking about the Austrian Philharmonic coin and why this might be the best silver bullion coin to be stacking. So let's do it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I sincerely appreciate it. This one, I'm making the case for the Austrian Philharmonic. Uh, we're gonna talk about it if you're not familiar with it. We're also gonna talk about why it's an awesome silver bullion coin to be stacking, so lots of good information. I do have to say I'm not a professional financial advisor. Um, I'm just another dude on YouTube, and a lot of these are my opinions, so take them for what they are. But I will say, uh, I do have a lot of really awesome silver-related content coming out, so definitely uh, subscribe to my channel if you're new so you don't miss anything. But let's get into these right here. This is the Austrian Philharmonic. Uh, these are really, really cool. They are from Austria. They have a face value of 1.5 euros. Um, this is the organ from the uh, Philharmonic Orchestra. Uh, they're very well known for their music, so in Austria they decided to celebrate music on their uh, bullion coins, which is very, very cool. Uh, so, but let's talk about why it's actually potentially better to be stacking those over the American Silver Eagles and the Canadian Silver Maple Leafs. Uh, so, like I said, they've only been out since 2008, but since they came out, they've been extremely popular, especially in Europe. Um, real quick, before I talk about the pros, I just wanna point out, that they do have a unique feature, and that's the edge is just smooth. You can see in this, this is actually a 38 millimeter capsule. These coins are only 37 millimeters, so they're a little bit smaller than the maples. Uh, but it's just a smooth edge on the side of the coin there. The reason they did that was because the gold Philharmonics have the reeded edge, and they didn't want people to get confused between the two of them. Uh, so they wanted you to be able to feel the difference. So this one is smooth. The gold ones are reeded, which is like all the textured lines, which most coins have. Um, what's interesting is the gold are the same millimeter. They're also 37 millimeters. So uh, they're very, very wide for a gold coin. So that's why they did the uh, smooth edge. And then also the 1.5 euros, obviously uh, the euro has a one euro and a two euro coin already in circulating clad coinage. So they weren't able to make this one or two euros, so they decided just to go 1.5. At least that's what the mint is saying, and they're sticking to it. <laughs> so let's talk about why this is actually probably better to be stacking these over the eagles and the maples. I will say my personal stack is mostly American Silver Eagles. In fact, this is actually the only Philharmonic that I own right now, but I probably will be picking some more up in the future from all the research I've done from this for this video. So since they've come out, they've been extremely popular in Europe. They're priced extremely competitive, competitively. They might be uh, one of, if not the cheapest silver bullion coins that you can buy. Uh, so for me here in America, they're actually the same price as a Canadian silver maple leaf. Uh, if I went to my local coin shop, they would charge me the exact same amount for a Philharmonic as they would for a maple. Um, if I bought them online, they would also be very, very similar prices. I've the, All the websites I looked at, it's actually a little bit cheaper to buy the Philharmonics. I don't know if that's just um, randomly that's what it is right now or if that's all the time. Um, but if you actually go and look at the prices, usually from what I've been seeing, the fills are a little bit cheaper. And especially in Europe, these are cheaper than the maples. So if you just want to buy the cheapest silver bullion coin you can, then uh, I think that makes a great case for why you should be stacking the Philharmonics. Another thing about all three of these coins is that in the United States of America, you can sell these in any quantity and not have to fill out the IRS 1099B form. Uh, again, I'm not a tax professional, but from all the research I've done is these are exempt. So you could literally sell 2,000 of these Austrian Philharmonics to a coin shop and not have to report that sale to the IRS. And that's huge uh, for privacy. So Eagles is the same thing. Maple Leafs is the same thing. I've talked about this in uh, past videos, but that's very, very cool. Um, privacy is very important to a lot of us. So as, as that goes, these are all on the same playing field. So you don't have to worry about that with the Philharmonics. You would have to worry about that with other things like generic 
silver rounds or constitutional silver, uh, silver bars, etc. Um, a lot of those do uh, need to be reported to the IRS if you sell. It's like a thousand ounces or more, and there's some other stipulations and whatnot. So definitely do your own research on that. But um, uh, let's talk about one thing that I think is um, really interesting. Most coins, uh, bullion coins, actually do have the queen on them. So this is the uh, queen of England. Um, well, uh, I suppose you could say the queen of more than just England, right? I mean, her face is on like, I think someone said 29 different countries have her face on them. A lot of people aren't fans of this. So when you're buying uh, silver coins, uh, you know, a lot of people will actually refuse to buy Maple Leafs because they have the Queen's face on them. So they'll just stack American Silver Eagles or, uh, you know, generic silver, other stuff. Um, but, you know, that's a benefit that the Philharmonic has. It doesn't have her face on it anywhere. It's just got the uh, instruments on this side and the big organ on this side. Um, so that is really cool. And I would say definitely a benefit, uh, especially if you're not a fan of the monarchy. Um, you know, if you are a fan, then... Yeah, you can stack maples all day. Go for it. You know, it's your money. You can buy whatever you want. But when they're both priced about the same, and in fact, these a little bit cheaper, uh, I think it's definitely a better buy. Um, one other thing that I do want to talk about the Philharmonics is that they're only three nines fine silver, similar to the American Silver Eagle. So a lot of people, they want the four nines fine silver, and the Maple Leaf does offer that. The Maple Leaf also does have the anti-counterfeiting uh, technology into it, which the Philharmonic does not. So the Philharmonic is essentially on the same playing field as the Eagle, where it's they're both three nines fine silver, and which is the industry standard for silver bullion coins. And uh, neither of them have any anti-counterfeiting technology. Um, so it's just as good as the Eagle in that regard, and it's just as good as, if not better, as the Maple for the price of it. It also doesn't have the queen on it. Um, they are a little bit smaller in diameter, which some people like that smaller coin. It just feels better in the hand. Um, they are obviously a little bit thicker for that reason though, because it's a one ounce of fine silver. All three of these are exactly one ounce, one troy ounce of fine silver. Um, if you did buy mint tubes of these, they come in tubes of 20, they have a gray top. The American Silver Eagle also comes in tubes of 20, but it has a green top. So they're similar to the Eagle in that regard. Uh, but I think they are just very, very cool in general. I do like the look of the coin. I think it's unique, um, especially the fact that it has uh, music really is the main theme of this, which I haven't seen any other coins that have music as the main theme. Uh, you know, most of them have like animals or people um, nature, stuff like that, but they're celebrating music. So if you are a music lover, then the, this is definitely the coin to be stacking. Uh, but I think the main things that make this a good thing to be stacking is the fact that it is cheap to buy. Um, when I sell these here where I live, I get the same premium back for Philharmonics as I get for Maple Leafs. So I'm actually doing a little bit better on the Philharmonics if I can pick them up cheaper. Now, usually from what I've been seeing, especially on sales, I can pick them up about 10 cents cheaper. But if I'm not waiting around for a sale or anything, if I literally just go down to my coin shop, they cost me the same as the Maple Leafs. Um, so I do think that they have a lot of stuff going for them. They do have better quality control than the Maples, uh, I would say for sure. Um, you know, the older Maple Leafs, 2017 and before and older all the way back to 1988 uh, have the problem with milk spotting these will milk spot some of them they will tone but they're definitely not as bad quality as the maples so if you do want a good high quality bullion coin to be storing your wealth in i think these are a great option whether you live in america or europe uh, anywhere in the world uh, these are very, very cool. A lot of people like them. They, for some reason, don't seem to be as popular here on YouTube. I haven't seen a lot of videos about these, um, but I think, in my mind, they're better than the maples. So if I'm going to stack something other than eagles, I think I'm probably going to be stacking these. I mean, they're not going to be my main stack. Obviously, my main stack is all about the eagles, but for a little bit of a side stack and some diversity, I definitely uh, want to be picking some of these up. The last thing I do want to mention 
is that they have the face value of 1.5 euros, which someone in my other video uh, said that it's better for silver bullion coins to have a lower denomination face value, the lower the better. And the reason they said it's better to have a lower one is because whenever you uh, go into another country uh, for a border crossing declaration, you can say that you have less face value of money that you're taking with you across the border. So if that's a consideration for you, I mean, take the Canadian silver maple leaf, that's $5 Canadian. So if you had a thousand ounces of these, then you would have to say that you have 5,000 Canadian dollars when you're crossing the border. If you have a thousand ounces of Austrian Philharmonics, you would only have to say that you have 1,500 face value dollars in euros. And then the American Silver Eagle, obviously the best, if that's what you're looking at, you'd only have to say you have $1,000 face value of the American Silver Eagle. So if you are gonna be crossing borders, going to other countries, whether that be for you know end of the world situation or just selling your silver, you wanna try and get a better price or something like that, then it, it would be better to have a smaller denomination, uh, which the Philharmonic is smaller than the Maple. So that's one other reason I think it would beat the Maple. Um, so that was pretty much all the thoughts I had on this video. Definitely let me know down below in the comments if you have anything else you'd like to add. If you like the Philharmonics, if you stack them, I would love to know. Um, and I do want to say again, if you're new, please consider subscribing. Definitely give the video a thumbs up and uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you all so much for watching. Silver Dragons! Out.